Right. I think we're live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'm joined by Rick and Emily. Hello. 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 Uh, and we're going to be playing Distilled. Um, we're going to be doing a three-player game tonight, and I'm going to be doing a full tutorial. I've spent the day learning the game. Uh, Rick and Emily haven't played before and have been avoiding knowing anything about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that I can deliver uh, a teach to them. Because uh, if you know something about it, you... I might miss a rule and you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the idea is that I'll teach you how to play and if, if, if you spot an icon I haven't explained it, then, then interrupt me and ask me. Uh, audio and video is fine. I was just about to ask. Thank you very much, James, for letting me know. Um, so I can get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. I couldn't hear myself anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so Distilled. Distilled is a, well, I class it as a medium weight Euro game. I don't know what other people class it as. Uh, it is one to four players. I'm actually going to be covering the solo game next week if you're interested. But tonight we're going to be doing, we're doing a three-player game. We are all set up. The mm -hmm. idea of this game is you've just inherited from a family member a distillery and you've decided to become a distiller and mm -hmm. you're basically running a distillery. Okay. Uh, we're going to be playing the game over seven rounds, which is tracked over here. Uh, and we're trying to get spirit points. Spirit points is victory points. And that is tracked on this board here. Before we start, uh, Dave, the designer who's in the chat, wanted me to mention that this has changed. This is this is a pre-production copy uh, or a prototype. It's a nice looking prototype. Very good. This me. is going to be half the size. OK, so this is not going to be as big as it is. And it's going to be combined with this board. So these two boards are going to be combined into one. Other than that, everything you see here, although is a prototype, is is pretty much the finished the finished artwork. So mm -hmm. seven rounds, you're trying to get as many spirit points as you can. There is some end game scoring, but you're going to be scoring points during the game as well. Mm -hmm. How do you score points during the game? Essentially, you will be buying ingredients, you will be learning new recipes, you will be distilling spirits, you will then either be selling them or you'll be aging them in your warehouse and then selling them later. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you sell them, you'll get money and you'll also get points. The money you will use in the next round to buy more stuff. Okay. If you don't sell something every round, and I'm not saying you should, but if you don't, you are not going to have much money. Mm -hmm. So if you spend all of your money, make something and don't sell it, you're going to go into the next round with very little money. Dry. Okay. Well. Dry. <laughs> um, so we're all set up. I'll explain what we've got. Uh, first of all, we have the basic market. Now, I've got the basic market sideways, as you can see here. Oh, need to mention that the end game points might... Yeah, these are going to be smaller as well. I'll come on to them in a minute. So like coasters. Yeah. So these are going to be half the size. They're going to be tokens. They okay. don't need to be this big. Right. So we've got the basic market. I've got it sideways here. Uh, the basic market contains basic yeast, basic water, uh, mixed grains, mixed plants, mixed fruits, and then clay barrel and wood barrel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, three different types of stuff in here. You have yeast and water. That's going to be important. Every time you distill, you need at least one yeast and at least one water, right? Then you have these three, which are the sugars, the three different sugars. We have grains, plants, and we have fruit. Mm -hmm. These are basic versions of the sugars. Every time you distill, you need at least one sugar. But you may have more. And then finally, we have clay barrels and we have wood barrels. So two different types of barrels. We'll come on to why you might need them later on. Mm -hmm. But they are in the basic market. You can buy from here. These cards are always available. The cost to buy a card is shown in the... Well, the bottom right of the card. Nice and cheap. Okay. So, yeah, some of these are cheap. You might think, well, why can't I buy an infinite number of them? <laughs> you are limited to buying two cards from the market each round. Okay. Okay. So that's why you can't just buy a million yeast. Right. We also have the premium market, which is here. The premium market is divided into three rows. We have uh, distillery upgrades, which you will place on your upgrade slots. Mm -hmm. They give you a special bonus and might be worth points at the end of the game. Premium ingredients, so better versions of grain sugars, plant sugars, and fruit sugars. Mm -hmm. You can also find better versions of water and yeast in here as well. Okay, And then premium items, mm -hmm. so better barrels and also bottles, which we'll come on to later on as well. Okay, So this is the premium market. This is the basic market. We have a pile of alcohol. We have a pile of flavors, which we'll, which we'll come on to later on as well. Okay. Uh, every time you take a card from here, everything shuffles to the right to fill any gaps, and we get a new one. So there's always going to be four of each type of card in, in the market. Mm -hmm. Right. Over here, we have, and I can zoom in on this bit. Yeah, I can zoom in on this bit. Uh, we have the, the spirit points track, which is basically victory points. So none of us start off with any victory points. These cubes here 
are for the three different types of recipe. So I'm just going to zoom in on my board here. We've each got a recipe checklist. Okay, these are all of the recipes in the game. The mm -hmm. top two are ticked. They are the ones that you can make at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. In order to be able to make one of the other types of spirits, you need to learn that recipe, which basically means buying one of those cubes mm -hmm. and putting it on your board. That mm -hmm. means I now know how to make soju. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a one-off thing. Once you've put the cube on there, you know how to make it and you can then make it for the rest of the game. Okay? okay. This is the cost to buy the cubes. Okay? Yep. And there's bronze, silver, and gold because they're divided into bronze, silver, and gold. Mm -hmm. Up here we have labels. Spirit labels, which you put on the bottles. Um, oh, there's a little bottles? Well, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll come to that later. Um, there's a limited number of each. So we've got uh, moonshine and vodka, of which there are two of each per player. Okay. And then all of the other ones, there's one of each per player. Every time you produce something, you'll get a label if there's a label left. Mm -hmm. So if there's only one gin label left and me and you both produce gin in the same turn, it goes in turn order as to who right. gets the label. Now, if there is no label, you can still produce, but the label is an extra bonus. Okay. So you probably want to try and get the labels if you can. Right? That's that board over here. Right, now to explain this bit over here, and as mentioned, these are going to be tokens and not cards, and they're going to be half this size. These are spirit awards. There's a whole load of spirit mm -hmm. awards included in the game. We've shuffled them, we've picked four at random. Mm -hmm. These are in-game bonuses which you can score at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. So if at the end of a round you have met the conditions of one of these, or more of one of these, you score it, you get the points printed on it, and then it's gone. And there's only four, it doesn't get refreshed. There's only four, it doesn't get refreshed. Okay. If two players achieve it at the same time, or more players achieve it at the same time, you divide the points by the number of players round up. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yeah, they are four things. We'll go into those in a bit more detail as well. Let's have a look at your player boards. Audio issues, what's the audio? Audio sounds perfect to everybody, but not to somebody else. Uh, I sound a bit like I'm locked in a cupboard. Yeah, unfortunately, the other microphones are picking me up. There's, no, there's not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Um, okay, so your player board, this is your distillery. You start with, this is your character, okay? There are nine different characters in the game. Uh, you get two at the start, and you choose which one you wanna play. So I'm playing Jiong Jin Na, from Asian, Asia and Oceania, and from Korea. You've got special ability on the front of the card, but what's on the back of the card is what I start with. So we've each chosen this off camera, and we start with a certain amount of money, yeast, water. We start off with a signature sugar and a signature recipe. So this is my signature recipe. So I mentioned that these are the recipes in the game. There's this one as well, but only I can make this one, and only once per game. Mm -hmm. Okay, your signature recipes are once per game. You also have a signature ingredient, which you don't start with. It's there, but it's not yours yet. Oh. Because okay. all of your ingredients go in your pantry. Okay. So the card is there, but you haven't got it yet. You've got to do something to get it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then that goes there. So that's that. You've got three spaces for upgrades. If you're, if you're full and you want a fourth one, you can take it, but you have to get rid of one of your other ones. Okay. Okay. All of your ingredients go in your pantry. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like your hand of cards. Okay? Right. Water, yeast, all of the sugars, they all go in your pantry. Right? Your items go in your storeroom. And at the start of the game, we each have a metal barrel and a glass bottle. You can use, the, you've got a permanent supply of these, an infinite number of them. But you okay. only ever use one at a time. So then you just get it back when you've used it. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, other barrels are available and other bottles are available, but these are your basic ones. So you're always able to produce and you're always able to sell. Your warehouse is where you put aged wines, mm -hmm. uh, not wines, spirits. Uh, and we've mentioned the recipe checklist. The game also comes with player aids, um, which are really good. Two player aids, double sided, and I think pretty much everything in the game is, is explained on there. So there we go. That is a very quick whistle stop tour. Dave is saying that um, you can hold the pantry cards in your hand if you, re if, if you want to. Oh, I think yeah, so you, you can hold them in your hand if, if you want to, because mm -hmm. you will be getting a lot and you will be stacking them up Okay. and you might lose track of what you've got. So you mm -hmm. can put them in your hand. Also, at the start of the game, we've each been dealt three distillery goals 
and we have chosen two of them. Okay, so we've each chosen two of these. These are end game scoring cards. We'll go through them at the end, but if at the end of the rules explanation you don't know what any of them do, just ask me and I'll, I will let you know. Right, so seven rounds. We need to pick a start player at random. I will do that. I will secretly hide these barrels. <laughs> And I'm going to line them up from left to right. So, Emily, my right, middle, or my left? Right. Red. Rick is the start player. Hey. Okay, so you get that big... Big D. The big D. <laughs> Dunce. Okay. Um, so you're the start player. Four phases. He says, putting up three fingers. Four <laughs> phases in each round. Mm -hmm. The first phase is the market phase, where we buy stuff. Mm -hmm. The second mm -hmm. phase is the... Distill phase where we make a spirit. Then the third phase is the sell phase where you sell your spirits. And then the fourth phase is the age phase where the spirits that you don't sell get aged. Mm -hmm. Now, in the sell phase, you can sell not just the spirits you've made that turn, but you can also sell aged ones from previous turns. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's go into a bit more detail. First, start of round effects. If you have any cards in play that say at the start of the round, do something, this is when you do it. Does anybody have any of those? Uh, don't, don't think, think we so. Do. No. Mark okay. Phase or something. Uh, we're going to go over our characters at the end of the teach. Yep, yeah, we will do that. We will do that. Um, so the market phase. We take it in turns and we keep going round and round until we all pass. Once you've passed, you're out. You can't come back in. Okay. Rick, you're going to take the first turn because you're the start player. Mm -hmm. And on your turn, you buy something. And the thing that you can buy is either a card from the basic market, a card from the premium market, or you can buy one of these recipes. Just one? One thing. Okay. But then it comes back around to you and you buy another one thing and right. then back around to you another, etc., etc. Now, anything you buy from here, you can just put straight on your player board. But it is recommended that anything you buy from the basic market, you put below your player board so that we remember you're only allowed to buy two things from the basic market. Can you buy as many things as you want? You can buy as many things as you want from here. And the cubes. And the as cubes well. as many as you want. Now, bear in mind, I've got one money. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. My, my starting amount of money is, is one. So I'm not going to be <laughs> doing very much in the first round of the game. Um, whereas Emily started with four money, mm. which isn't oh. amazing, but you know, more you can still one. do something. Um, so the things that you can buy, as I say, you can, you can buy these. The yeast, the water, the mixed grains, the mixed plants, the mixed fruits will go into your pantry. Uh, the clay barrel and the wood barrel will go as items into here. There are some special rules. The yeast, whenever you buy yeast, there's obviously somebody with a large surplus of yeast who wants to get rid of it. Yeast salesman. Because it's yeah. free and you actually get one money when you buy it. So somebody is paying you to take their yeast. Please away. buy my yeast. Okay? So whenever you take a yeast card from here, or whenever, whenever you buy the yeast card from here, you get a money. Okay? Water, whenever you buy water from here, you look at the top card of any one of these decks. You might buy it if you want to. You may buy it. And then if you don't, you put it to the bottom of the deck. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's those two. The rest of them, no, no special abilities. Mm -hmm. Right? Premium cards, I've mentioned, are generally better... Ver premium ingredients are better versions than the normal ingredients. And premium items are better versions than, mm -hmm. than other items. These upgrades, I kind of mentioned, each of them has a special ability on it. But also... They are worth points at the end of the game, depending on what's printed on them. Like this, the modern mill, I'll just zoom in a bit. The modern mill is worth one point at the end of the game, whereas the large storage is worth one point at the end of the game for every two items you have in storage. Mm -hmm. I think it means storeroom. Okay, so these can be worth points at the end of the game. Right, any questions about the market phase? So you said the metal barrel can be used an infinite number of times, basically. Yes. The upgraded metal barrel, can that also be used no. an infinite number of times? No. Okay. No. Everything else. <laughs> well, the, the upgrades are permanent because they go on your board. Mm -hmm. Everything else is one use only. Okay. Okay. Right? And when you use it, it goes to the discard pile, which is the truck. I see. So, at the end of the market phase, when we've all passed, these three cards will go onto the truck, and then everything slides to the right. Mm -hmm. Which on Tabletop Simulator, you press a button and it does it all for you. <laughs> I'm pressing the button here, and nothing's happening. Why does <laughs> it have to slide to the right? Uh, just to fill any gaps, because they will go... And then they will go. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because everything always slides to the right. Yes, upgraded metal barrel can. Says on card. Oh, it can. Yes. Oh, right. 
Oh, yeah, because it says on there. Thank you very much. Nobody took this in my test. Game. It literally <laughs> says on there, after selling, you may return this card to your storeroom. There we go. Okay, so because it says on the card, but everything else, <laughs> everything else is one use only. Uh, do you choose the upgrade? For... Doesn't mean is it hot. I don't know. Right, okay. Possibly. <laughs> Next, that's the market phase done. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now we go into the distill phase. Now the distill phase, once you are experienced with the game, you can do simultaneously. Mm -hmm. For the first few rounds at least, we're not going to do it simultaneously. We're going to do it individually mm -hmm. so we can all explain what we're doing. But maybe from round three onwards, we'll do it simultaneously to save time. The best way of explaining this is by doing an example. Okay. So in order to distill, you need to have, you put cards into your wash bag, ah. which is here. You need to have at least one yeast which will go not from there, it will go from your pantry yes. into your wash bag. At least one, but you could put more. Mm -hmm. You must have at least one water, mm -hmm. but you may want to put more. Let's just mm -hmm. zoom in on my playboard here, okay? Um, so yeast, water, and at least one sugar, but you might want to put more. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's say, for example, <clears throat> I put a grain. mixed grain and a mixed plant. I could have put mm -hmm. two mixed grains, Yeah. but l let's say I just did this. Okay, and that's what I've thrown in to the, to the big the big tub, yeah. right? and then I mix it up a bit. What you do is you now add alcohol for every sugar. So I've got two sugars, two so I alcohol. add two alcohols. Okay. Okay. Then what I do is, and this is very thematic. Shuffle. Okay. okay. <laughs> so if you just think of it. It's all, it's all being mixed, it's all being and mixed. then apparently when you distill spirits. <laughs> It is part of the process that you remove, you skim off the top, and you get rid of the bit at the bottom. And that's exactly what you do in this game. So we remove the top card, the bottom card, and we remove the top card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They go back into your pantry. Right. So you've not lost them. They are okay. yours. Oh, nice. And what's left is what you actually make. Now, right. notice, I didn't declare what I was trying to make. No. Okay? Because you don't I have don't to. Know. Now, you'll have an idea... <laughs> Of what you're trying you'll to make, you'll be trying something. You'll be trying to make something, okay. but what you actually get might be something completely might be different. Something different. Oh, right, okay. and this is where I'm going to explain <coughs> all of these icons on here. Which, when I first learned at the game, I was like, "Oh my god, this is really scary. I don't understand it." But <laughs> once you understand it, it's actually mm -hmm. fairly simple. Basically, the three types of sugars are printed on here, and yeah. every recipe will tell you whether they are allowed in there or not. So to make moonshine, you cannot have any sugars. Right. So you might be thinking, great, yeah. yeah, you might yeah. be thinking, well, hang on a minute. You, have to have you just said I have to put one in. <laughs> yeah, you do have to put one in, but it might come out. Hopefully it would come out if you were aiming. Exactly. For that. If you were aiming for moonshine, you would want the sugar to come out. Mm -hmm. So I've got here, forget, forget the yeast, the water and the alcohol, right? I've got mixed plants. So what can I make with this? Vodka. Vodka. Exactly. Uh... Well, that's the only the recipe you got. <laughs> yeah, let, let's say I had all of these. Okay. Let's say I knew how to make absolutely everything. What could I make with this? The the yeah, who's, who's, who's going to pronounce yeah. it? Kachaka? Yeah, that one. I don't know Kachacha. how to say that. Kachacha, I think it is. I can make that because Kachacha. it needs one or more plant, yeah. no grain, and no fruit. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. That's I got it. it. So oh, if, nice. if I if so I if, if I knew, recipe, and that's it, I do don't it. have to declare beforehand what I make, but at this point I now need to say that is what I've made. Okay. And you will notice it's it's got a type of barrel on there. That would mean you'd have to have. I would in have a to have barrel. a metal barrel okay? in the storeroom, as not opposed in the to exactly. the clay ones which exactly. are needed for the other stuff. That needs a clay barrel. Some of them need wooden barrels. Yeah. Okay, these recipe checklists are the same for everyone. They're exactly the same. Yeah. Well, your, yours isn't. I've changed it. I've made it harder. No, oh, damn it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what you do is you put all of that, you put it in a barrel, mm -hmm. and then you say, what have I made? So let, let's say I did learn this. Mm -hmm. So I've made this uh, check, track, check, or whatever. Check, check, check. So then you take a label. And you oh, put it, oh, we have a pronunciation. Cachasa. 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 Right, there you go. Um, I'm not going to remember that. So we've, we've, put a, we've put a label on it. There you go. I now have one of them. a barrel full of that stuff. Kachasa. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's how that works. That explains one of my cards. Okay. Right. Actually. <laughs> now, the next thing to explain is this icon here. Hourglass with the crossed out symbol. That means I cannot age it. That means I have to sell that this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
if it didn't have the icon crossed out, you cannot sell it this turn. You have to wage it at least once before you sell it. Oh, I like that. And all the ones that need aging have to be in the wooden, wooden barrels. Barrel. Or, or the clay barrel, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is an example of how distilling works. You must play at least one yeast. You must play at least one sugar. You must play at least one water. You add one alcohol per sugar. Uh -huh. You mix them all up, get rid of the top, get rid of the bottom. And what's left is what you make. It will either be vodka or moonshine. You will always be able to make something. Because mm -hmm. right? moonshine is no sugars. Vodka is any old thing. Yeah. Right? So actually, it doesn't matter whether, because you're at, you're mixing it up and you're getting rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you've got rid of the alcohol. Nope. And it doesn't matter if you've got rid of the nope. other things. And there is a thematic explanation in the rules to say, well, hang on a minute. Surely if you've got rid of all the alcohol, it's not. <laughs> it just means it's a low strength one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the cards that you okay. took off yes. go into a pantry. You haven't lost oh, them. Nice. And alcohol can be used as water. Or yeast. Oh, I was going to say the alcohol is the country. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Right. Before we move on to the selling phase, mm -hmm. I'm going to explain something that happens at the start of the distill phase. Mm -hmm. At the start of the, the distill phase, before anybody distills anything, you yeah. may trade one of your cards for a basic card from here of an equal or lower value. I've played one and a half games of this. It's not been done. But I think it's there, and Dave will correct me, it's there in case you mess up in the market phase and go, wait a minute, Idiot. Yeah. ah, I forgot to get water. I can't actually make anything. Okay, so you give right. in the mixed grains and take water. <coughs> Notice on the yeast card it says you cannot give in the yeast. Ah, uh, I wondered what that mm. meant. Yeah, so you can't trade the yeast back to the market. Because you've got the money point. earlier. You can't do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so just remember that is there as an option at the start of the distill phase if you want to do it. Right, so now let's explain selling. And let's go back to my player board. When you sell, you now oh this was <laughs> this was this. Yeah. You now have to, have to yeah, you now have to allocate a bottle. Okay. So it's at the point allocate you sell it, put it in a bottle. That you have to allocate a bottle. Right. Okay. If you have another bottle, you can use another bottle instead. Other bottles that you use are one use only. But there's something special about other bottles, right? Then what happens? Uh -huh. Uh the top left of the card is the money that you get for selling it, plus whatever's printed on here, which is just moonshine and vodka. Mm -hmm. And that is money that you get. The points that you get, the spirit points, are in the bottom left. And you notice is zero, 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 <laughs> because these are all basic commodities. <laughs> but if you have a look at millet, and this is where I, this is why you might think, well, hang on a minute, if I get mixed grains for free. Well, Why would I pay three for mixed grains? It's exactly the same. Mixed it's because price. this is worth one money and one point. Yeah. Okay, so these are better versions of the basic mm -hmm. ones. So you get the money, you get the points, you track the points on the board. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Unless you use a special bottle. So if you used a special bottle, you get the benefit of the bottle, which is generally extra points, plus a bonus based on uh the part of the world so the the wax sealed bottle will get me an extra two points when i sell a spirit in that bottle but if that spirit was from the americas i get four instead mm -hmm. so all of the spirits have on them a location of where they're from mm -hmm. the moonshine the vodka and the whiskey have mm -hmm. got an icon of a little house with a meeple in it that means it's distillers yours. region it's the distillers region. So you're from your, uh, you're from the Americas. America. You're from Europe. Yep. I'm from Asia and Oceania. Oui, oui. Okay. So, once you've sold, your glass bottle and your metal barrel will come back to you. Mm -hmm. Any non-glass bottles that you used, you keep for end game scoring. Okay. So you mm -hmm. just put them somewhere. They're not yours. You can't use them again. But you keep it for end game scoring. Everything else goes back. So all of the basic ones go here, all the premium ones go here. So you lose everything, you've everything that you've made you've put in there. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back to bottles when we explain end game scoring. Any questions about distilling? Can or you only selling? make one per turn? You can only distill one per turn, yes. Okay. Aging. Right, let's explain aging. 
Um, so as I mentioned, if it has the hourglass on it, you must age it. Mm -hmm. You don't have a choice. You cannot sell it on the turn that you make it. So let's say, for example, I've got um, a wooden barrel um, with some stuff in it. Okay. So <coughs> let's say it had this, this, load of this, whatever. All right. I've made a wooden barrel and I've made it of rum. And because the hourglass is there, I cannot sell it on the turn that I've made it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I take the stack, I put it face down in my warehouse. I put After the... taking one off the top and bottom? Or do you not? Yeah, you, you, yeah you've, you've made it. Yeah, all of that. This is what it is. Yeah. So the wooden barrel goes on top, the label goes on top, and I take a flavor card. Okay. Okay. So these flavor cards are basically a big random deck of card, and you don't know what flavor it's going to be mm. until you actually taste it. So what you do is you take the top flavor, you don't look at it, you put it on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Next round, you can sell it, or you can age it again. If you age it again, you take another flavor card and you put it on the bottom. Okay. When you come to sell it, the number of flavor cards on it will increase the number of points you get. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you reveal all of the flavor cards. So I've made a uh, rum that tastes like melon and plastic. Lovely. Nice. <laughs> and the amount in the top left is how much money you get for it. Okay. Right. So the, the, the points that you get for it are fixed based on how many flavor cards there are. But the money you get from it is a random amount. Right. But the more flavor cards you've got, the better. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how the aging process works. You can, excuse me, you can sell multiple spirits in the same round, mm -hmm. potentially three. Because if you've got one, two, yeah, if you've and got then your two aging one. and your current one, you could sell three. Now you don't sell them all at once. Uh, what you do is we take it in turns in the sell phase, mm -hmm. as normal. Um, but yeah, you could potentially sell sell three spirits. So that's actually the last two phases of the game. That's that's selling and that's aging. Okay. That's pretty much how that works. Mm -hmm. End of game scoring. Well, we've mentioned end of round. Mm -hmm. Do you now know what all of these do? I'm going to go through them for everybody. I don't have a preset set up for this. <laughs> I don't think I've got a preset set up. I do have a preset yeah. set up. Yay! <laughs> so we have this one. Sell an aged spirit. So the first player or players in a round to sell an aged spirit will get five points. Well, if one player does it, they get five points. If more than one player does it, it's that points divided by the players who did it, rounded up. Mm -hmm. Sell a spirit worth 12 points or more. Mm -hmm. Have 25 money at the end of the round. And collect three spirit labels from Europe. And ones with your distiller's region don't count. Okay, so that's end of round scoring. Mm -hmm. Start player passes, you go to the next round. Off you go. That's what happens at the end of the round. Okay. If you don't sell a spirit, you can do a tasting. Yes, thank you, David. <clears throat> there is a rule that if you do not sell a spirit in a round, then at the end of the round, you can do a tasting where you can spend up to four points to get up to four money. Okay. One point per money up to four times. Spend your points. You spend saying. your points to get a little bit of money. Mm. I think you'd have to be desperate to do it. Yeah. Because, you know, you're losing points. Right. Yeah. Thank you, David, for the reminder of that one. Interesting. Okay. So... End of game scoring, and this is all explained on here. Any spirits that are still left in your warehouse, any that you didn't manage to sell, will still count the points on them for the ingredients cards, the barrel, and the recipe only. They will not count for the flavor cards or anything like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Then there is a bottle collection bonus. So bottles that you have used during the game will score based on the region where they're from. Mm -hmm. So if you've got at least one from three different regions, it's five points. Okay. And then you count up how many you've got of the same region. And it's all on here. If you've got two from the same region, it's two points. Three from the same region, it's four, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Distillery upgrades. Mentioned these upgrades here. Mm -hmm. uh, your distillery goals. And then money that left over is five to one. Mm-hmm. I've probably forgotten Gosh. something. I might have forgotten something. I don't think I have. But there was a request from Stephen in the chat. Uh, we're going to go through. So I am Zhongjin Na from Asia and Oceania. And my special ability is 
once per market phase, I can buy one ingredient at a discount of two. Mm. Okay. Mm, two, nice. Emily. I am Jean-Baptiste Saint-Fleur from the Americas, and I can once per market phase discount one bottle by By one. one. Okay. Mm, you sounded French. I am Etienne de Erclair. From Europe and France, and once per market phase, I can discount one distillery upgrade by one. Okay, so we've all got... Oh yeah, labels. <laughs> Thank you. I need to mention labels. Oh. Uh, we've all got an ability which is used in the market phase. So these, I assume. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it. Right, okay, so let's go back to that. Whenever you sell, you take the label and you put it onto one of your spaces here, and you resolve the ability that's printed on it. You choose one? You choose one, and each one has two choices. Okay. Mm. The second one is how you get your signature ingredient. Oh. Okay. But note, your signature ingredient also appears twice in the ingredients deck. Oh, okay. So there are two other rice cards in there. There are two other sugar canes in there, and there are two other yeah, there's one there, and there are two other grapes in there. And other people can buy them. And other people can buy them. Mm -hmm. This is one use only. Yeah. And your signature is one use only. Mm -hmm. So be very, very careful when you decide to try and make your signature recipe. If you fail, i.e. you don't end up getting what you need, but this card was in there, it's gone. You don't get it back. Sad face. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, these are they're fairly self-explanatory. You get free stuff from here. You can either get a free upgrade, free item, free thing. You can get a free recipe, or you can trade a card from here with anything from the truck. So literally you can pick up any of the stacks, look through them, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so label bonuses. Label bonuses are all covered. Uh, and I think I think we're done. Uh, if there are any rules that I've missed, then I apologize. We are sweltering here. We've got the windows open, but it's not helping. Mm -hmm. I'm literally yeah. dripping. Yeah, we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment. Um, but yeah, if, if you're ready to start, have you got any questions before we start? Don't think so. Okay. Don't think so. Okay. By the end of the first round, it'll all have clicked. Yes. He says. Mm -hmm. Right. Off we go then. So, market phase then. Market phase. You get to buy something. Buy. Or pass. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> pass. <laughs> no. I mean, I've only got one money. I won't be doing very much. I've got three money. Uh, I won't be doing very much at all. Hmm. I could buy upgrades and stuff, but because obviously I can get them discounted. But I don't think so. You get a discount buying. of. One, one distillery upgrade. I mean, I'll be spending all my money straight away on that, which seems a yeah, bit. So, do you have a yeast? Crazy. Yes. Do you have a water? Yes. Do you have a sugar? No. Right. So I need sugars. But they're free. Sugar. So, you could buy this and then take that or take two of them and you'd be fine. But then you've used all the money. Yeah. Okay. Andrew said it was 41 degrees C here today. Okay, Ada, uh, Andrew, you win. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Yeah, go on then. Let's do it. Okay. Three so you money. Use your discount. You spend your three money. Yeah, in the large storage. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that goes there. Money has been spent. That goes down. And that goes there. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mark your so thing to say that you've done it, but we'll, we'll try and uh, Yeah, and then I'm not going to buy another thing. Right, my go. Let's have a look at what I've got. I shouldn't have alcohol. I'm, that's me cheating. I should have water, not alcohol. Shouldn't uh, have grains either. Should you? Should you? Water and yeast. That's what everybody's got, isn't it? No. Oh, oh, is I've got, 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 got water. We've all got yeah, different. There you oh, go. I, I think I'm reset now. No more cheating. Um, so I'm obviously going to take a yeast at some point. My special ability is to discount an ingredient by two. So actually, that's not bad. Okay. That's not bad at all. So I think I am going to spend my one money. Oh, no, because then I won't. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to spend my one money to get a discount on the mountain spring water. Done. Bottles stay in your... Storeroom, you don't have to use them on the turn that you buy them. Okay. Just wonder if it's worth getting it since it's cheap. 
for me. I get and you get a discount, one, a discount of one. Yeah, as long as you've got enough money to be able to produce some spirits this turn. We can always produce something when you've got no money, can't you? Pretty much, cause yeah, because you just buy them. Yeah. <clears throat> but remember, you can only buy two cards from the basic market. Mm -hmm. Right, it's Eurek. Grains. Grains for free. Grains for free. Okay. Free grains. Yeah, I'm going to take grains for free. So again, pop that. Just below your player board, okay, to show that that's one of your. Oh yeah, by the side of your player I board need works water. as well. So when you take the water, oh yeah, you may choose the top card of one of these decks. Look at it. You may buy it or put it to the bottom. Now, bear in mind you've only got one money. <coughs> you might not want to. Is it a may? Yeah, you may draw the top card of I the deck. Yeah, because you, you you're going to end up putting it to the bottom yeah. anyway. I'm going to take another yeast, so I get a money. Yep, you take a yeast, you get a money. Mm. But that's from the basic market, so yeah. I'm also going to take a yeast, which gets me a money. And then I need a sugar, so, so I will take a grain. Yeah, mix grains for free. For free. That, I've, I've bought two things from there, mm. and then I can buy anything else. Nope. Unfortunately, that bottle's three because my storage allows me to buy a bottle or a barrel by a discount of one. Oh, right, okay. But I, the yeah. I just can't afford it. Yeah. So you're done? I'm done. Yep, I pass as well. <coughs> pass. You're passing? Yeah, pass. Right, so now we go into the dis uh, Now at the end of the market phase, we load the truck. So those go along, those slide down, and then we get. New stuff. New stuff coming out. Right. Now we're going to the distill phase. So remember what I said at the start of the distill phase. You may take one card, get rid of it, and replace it with a card of an equal or lower value from there. As I say, I don't know whether you ever would. Right, Rick, do you want to do your distilling first mm -hmm. and talk us through what you're doing? So yeast. There's your yeast. Water. And grains. Sugar. So how many sugars have you used? Uh, just one. So you get one alcohol. Mm -hmm. Shuffle the cards all together. Mix them up. These need to be sleeved, don't they? <laughs> Put the top and the bottom back into your pantry. Okay, and then what have you got left? <laughs> Water and yeast. What do you make with that? Moonshine. moonshine. Yep. So you put your barrel in it. So you put your barrel on top. Mm -hmm. Take a moonshine label. Mm -hmm. Put it on top. Mm -hmm. Done. Oh, there you go. Right, sweet, me. Sweet moonshine. I am going to put some yeast there. I'm going to put some grains there. I'm going to use some refreshing mountain spring water mm. there. So I get an alcohol. I'll put it there. I do something similar. Let's see what we get. Okay, so the top and the bottom comes off. Okay, and I've made alcoholic water. Alcoholic spring water. Mm, yeah, lovely. alcoholic spring water. Uh, which is basically moonshine. <laughs> Otherwise so known as. Moonshine, put it in a metal barrel, stick a label on it, done. Emily. Okay, doing something very similar. Very similar. Taking, taking alcohol, alcohol, shuffle mm -hmm. it together, and maybe you'll make vodka. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we're all making Ooh. moonshine. Who knows? <laughs> David said he would have traded water for a grains, possibly. Yeah. But then there wouldn't have been water. I wouldn't. No, because I had a spare water. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's actually a good thing. I could have done that. Oh yeah. Because I'd have got vodka, but actually I wanted moonshine. So that's actually worked out okay. So get rid of the top one. And the bottom. Get one. rid of the bottom one. Oh. Okay. Right. So you've made vodka. So I've made vodka. You have made vodka. Oh. Right. So you stick it in a barrel. In the water. Oh yes, in a barrel. Low alcohol vodka. Yeah. Can you stick it in a bottle? No. Oh, is that later? No, that's, that's, that's later. That's when you come to sell it. Yeah. Okay, and you take a vodka label. There we go. And like you put that. it on there. Right, so that's Thank the you. distill phase done. We only get to distill once. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to the sell phase. We all have to sell because we can't keep it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Rick? Sell the moonshine. So first of all, you have to put a bottle. You have to now allocate a bottle. Oh. You add it to the stack. Uh -huh. And now you add up the cash value of all of the cards in there, plus two because it's moonshine. So five. So five in total. Mm -hmm. There you go. How many points do you get? Zero. Moonshine is one. Oh, moonshine is one. Okay. okay, so you get one point. All right. 
you get your bottle back, you get your barrel back, and then everything else goes. Water and yeast goes yeah, back. back to there. Right, and now you assign that label to your player board mm. and get one of the abilities printed on there. Four money, please. Okay. One, two, three, four. Right, so my go. I have some moonshine in a metal barrel. I will put it in a glass bottle. Um, but because I used mountain spring water, uh, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. So let's put it with the rest of my money. So I get seven money. And I've actually got a point there plus a point for the moonshine. So nice. winning. Oh, I give up. <laughs> um, that goes back. The alcohol goes back there. That goes here. So that's gone. Yeah, yeah. that's gone. And I'm going to put this somewhere. And now let's just have a look at my distillery goals again. Why did I choose that? <laughs> I do not know why I chose that. Um, but I do have some money. So I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have taken that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a free recipe. So I'm going to take um, I'm going to learn how to make and I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it by by you? By you? I'm going to learn how to make that. There you go. Oh, that's free, isn't it? It's yeah. free. You might as well get the most expensive one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. Uh, the ability on the spring water uh, was that if this would if, if this was removed during the distilling process, I would have gained a water. Okay. Oh. But it wasn't removed in the distilling process. Nice. Right, Emily, you're selling. I'm selling. Selling your vodka. Selling my vodka. I'm going to. Oh, I've put it in a yeah, bottle put it first. In a bottle, don't I? So, do you want to put it in that bottle? Well, yes, I think I okay, do. Okay, right. So, because vodka. The region that vodka comes from is based on your region. Yeah. You've got the full point. The full points for it. So it. So how much money do you do get? It the other way. Um, four. Plus. Four money. Oh, plus, plus one. one so plus it's five. Vodka. Yeah. So you get five money and points is two for vodka. Two. Plus four. Four. For so six bottle. points. There you wow. go. Now you're in the lead. Yeah. <clears throat> and then. That goes on one of those. One of those. Any one um, of those you want. I think I might get my ingredient. Okay, so you take your signature ingredient and, and pop it into your pantry. pantry. So the bottle you keep yeah. to one side for end game scoring. Yeah. Everything else. Oh no, your barrel you keep. Bar but the, oh, other, yes, the others go back. Oh, these two go back. Those go back. Yeah. Okay. Everything you use goes back. So that goes back there. Mm. That goes back there. Okay. And we don't do the age phase because nobody's nobody's doing any aging. End of the round. Mm -hmm. Anybody achieved any of these? Don't no. think so. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I get the start player. Mm. Round two. So we move okay. to round two. Making sense now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Right. Start of round effects. I don't think anybody has any. So we go into the market phase. And I am going to buy. Turbo yeast is basically a better, Turbo a better yeast. yeast. Turbo yeast. <laughs> um, I'm <clears throat> going to plan to do that, but am I going to plan to do it oh. this round? That is a good question. I am going to buy some millet, and I'm going to use my ability okay, to discount two. that one. It's going to cost one. Yeah. Done. I'm slide down. It goes there. Emily, you go. Um, four. Uh, by Joe is is pronounced five. by Joe. Okay, by there we Joe. go. By Joe. By Joe. <laughs> but if I do that, that's really expensive, and I might not do it. Hmm. I was aiming for a recipe okay. and then the ingredients I would need, but I feel like. That's too much in one go. There's something else that I forgot to mention. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it doesn't apply to me, which is why I forgot to mention it. But if you look at your signature recipe, yes. that can only be sold once it has two flavour cards on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? 
Same Yours is also two yeah. or more. You can't just age it once and then sell it. It has to have two or more. 17 it. points. Which twice. means you need to be thinking of when you're going to do that. Yes. Because you need to be doing it round four or five. Yeah. I feel like it might not get done. Or not get done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've bought that. Yeah. Well, ingredient. Yeah. So you could do it. You've got plenty of time. Need yeah. a barrel. Yeah. You need a wooden barrel and you need two plants. And two plants. And yeah. Sugar. Yeah. You might not do it this turn, but. Anyway, I was, anyway. Gonna, I was thinking about getting a recipe. Um, because I take it. Does one need to buy that? Wooden barrel here or fancy wooden barrels from here? Oh, right. But you don't have to buy the recipe like you have to no, buy the no. cubes. No, you, you know but... that. Oh, okay. Treat it as if it's. On the bottom of here, really. Okay. Um, I will buy the bronze cube. Okay. So it costs you two. What are you learning how to make? Um. <laughs> I will do the Kachasi. Kachasa. Kachasa. Rick. I am going to buy a celebrity celebrity mm. promoter. Yeah, four. Okay, nice. In my ability. I have one back. I need my money back. Uh, right, so if I'm going to oh, do nice. that, I need lots more grains lots and lots more grains i mean if i don't do it i just end up making vodka instead so i'll take some mixed grains for free done i will buy a um Veg. Mixed plants? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Veg. There you go, for one. I would like to purchase a rounded bottle for two, please, using my last storage. Rounded a bottle. There you go. Okay, just realised I need a clay barrel for that. So I'm going to buy the clay barrel. Which is my second card that I've bought from the basic market this turn. Mm. Jamie's saying this, uh, watching this makes him want a gin and tonic. Read that one. Oh dear, <laughs> we're causing people to drink. <laughs> no, it's not very good. Um, I will take another free thingy. Oh, I've mm -hmm. got water here, I've got yeast here. Well, the alcohol counts as water or yeast. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then. I'll get another plant-based yeah. thingy. Another one, and that yeah. is your second purchase from the basic market. Yeah. Have you bought anything from the basic market yet? Not yet. Yeah. I'm buying other stuff. <laughs> hmm. I don't think, you know, I could. Oh, it'd be risky, but it might work. Yeah, the chances of it working are very, <laughs> very slim. I... Hmm. What have I got? Not much. I will buy a bronze recipe. Okay. For two. What two. are you going to learn? I'm going to learn soju as well. Okay. <coughs> well, you um, know soju, that's, no, the, that's the example. <laughs> Turbo yeast. Do I want to buy the turbo yeast or do I want to buy the grains? I'm going to buy the grains. I'm going to spend two money. I'm going to buy this premium grains. I'm going to buy that. There you go. What's this bottle? <laughs> Angela asks a very good question. Uh, what if she makes vodka and wants to add it to orange soda? Can I buy an, original, an additional card, orange soda, and add vodka to it? <laughs> This one is worth one. 
Oh, I've got to pay one? No. It's Where's the cost? Is it there? Right. The cost is bomb right. right, yeah. yeah. It's just one. It does only cost you one. <laughs> one because yeah. of... Be my card. Yeah. Pirate man. Okay. <laughs> uh, grains. Um, I think I might be done. I have got too many. I can't afford any of those. And I've already bought two things from the market, so I'm done. <laughs> I'm done as well. You're done as well? Grains. Okay. Any more? That is all. Right. Distilling. <coughs> I'm going to try. I don't think this is going to work, but we will see. I am going to put in one water, one grain, uh, sorry, one water, one yeast, and four grains. Okay. So because I'm putting wow. four grains in, I get four alcohol. I'm doing three. So you're doing three. I'm doing a one. You're doing one. Okay. And now we do all the shuffling. So we can do this simultaneously if we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lin and the finish. Uh, yeah. Is it? Is uh, it uh, yeah, but remember these are these are prototypes, so oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I don't yeah. <laughs> these nice. are linen finish. I don't know what the actual uh, check the Kickstarter page or ask Dave in the chat for um, right. Where it's currently up to. Are you going to make your drink? That's the question. I just like shuffling. <laughs> okay, so I'm removing. Removing the top. The top and the bottom. And removing the bottom. Oh, that's nice. the worst case. Nice. Double alcohol. Come oh. on. <laughs> right, so I've got two grains, which is vodka, basically. After all that. I've made very, very strong vodka. <laughs> no, that's a terrible result. Didn't want that. I didn't want the alcohol. I wanted the money. Didn't back. want that. So metal barrel. I take oh, the vodka. Yeah, it's be in the barrel. First. I put it on there. Rats. I've made soju. Have you? Mm. Well done. Three grains, water and yeast. Okay. Nice. It's two plus. Mm, nice. So you get a soju label. I've done the cachaca. Okay. So there was a mm, plant in there and plant. none of anything else. Yeah. Yep, so you get a Kachasa label. Kachasa, please. And that's the end of the Thank distill you. phase. Remember, we could have swapped a card at the start if any of us wanted to. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I don't think I did. Right, okay, so now we go to selling. Yeah. So I'm going to sell this. Now, thankfully, it's got loads of alcohol in it, so it's actually really good for selling. So we've got uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money, and it's vodka, which is an extra one, so that's nine money, and points, one, two, three, so three points, nine money, uh, the bottle and the barrel go back, the alcohol goes back there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and I get to put this somewhere. Okay. And if you want, if you two want to do yours the barrel now. barrel goes back. Yeah, four I money. Put it on a bottle. I get just two and money. And five points for me. So five points for red. Uh, oh, sorry, another two money because of my celebrity promoter. Uh, yeah, I want to buy that. What do I want here? I'm going to save that bottle. Yeah. A Doig ventilator. I have no idea what that is. That sounds cool. It does sound cool. You get a free taste card. Hmm. Well, there's lots of money there. I am going to take a free upgrade and I'm going to take the modern mill. There we go. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, there is an expansion with a fourth region. Cool. Mm. I get two money. Right, yep. Thank you. And I don't think I get any points. 
four points for Kikasi. Oh, yes. Four points. Four points. Now. Yeah. Two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. So the bottle goes back. Bottle goes back. The barrel goes back. The barrel goes back. Yeah. So if you get Moonshine again, you can put it over another one of these. Yeah. It doesn't stack. Yeah. 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 There can only be one token per, yeah. per space. Hmm. And so I give all of those back as well. Yeah. How much money did you get for that? Uh, just the... Because it should have been an extra one for the barrel as well. One, two. Oh, the barrel yeah, as barrel, well. The so. barrel is the money. Oh, okay. Three yeah, then. there you go. Awesome. So... Three money yep, and then the just the back. four points. Let's go with a free item. And then... I'm going to go for the American stand. Well, item. Uh, well, hang on. Oh, it's her turn. Yeah, yeah. Emily goes before oh. you, just in case she wants the free item. Seems want to nick the barrel, I want to... Yeah. Um... Uh, wow. Mike is here. Thank you for joining Mike. We can get started now. So because Mike's here, we're going to stop playing <laughs> and start again. If that's all right with everybody? Actually, that's a good idea to get a <laughs> barrel, isn't it? There's two barrels. Two, There's yeah. two barrels. What's the difference between the barrels? Between? The two barrels. So that one is worth a point, and that one is worth a point. Yeah. That one costs five, this one costs seven. But this gets two flavour cards when you age it for the first time. Whereas that one, during the aging phase, you can spend the money to get a point. So slightly different special abilities. Okay. Um, yes, the item. And I want the one that ages twice. Andre is asking, does the market space at the centre discard cards to make them cycle more in between rounds? New card. Did I forget? I think I did. Apologies, <laughs> I forgot at the end of the market phase, I should have shuffled things along. No, we did. Oh, I think we did, don't we? Yeah, I we did. I did the first round. I did in the second round. We were not finished. No, but you do it at oh. the end of the market phase. So apologies ah, for that. I forgot okay. to do it at the end of the market phase. Uh, not going to do it now because we would have lost stuff. Go on then. I'll have the other barrel. Okay. So we've all sold. That's the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody done that? Anybody done that? Did anybody sell one worth? No? No. Uh, no was money. nine, wasn't it? Mine was nine. Yeah. <laughs> Close. Three, oh, no, no, no. It was nine coins. Oh. It was only three points. Oh, This cool. is points. Okay. Yeah, so we didn't five. do any of those. Emily's next. Start of round effects, we have none. So we go into the market phase. I blame the button that <laughs> isn't, it isn't doing it for me. Bottle? It's a bottle. Mm, I don't know, not right, what do I need bottle? to do this turn? It's not going to work again. I know it's not going to work again. I'm going to take this bottle. Yeah. Okay. This bottle. What pirate bottle? Perfect for your character. I oh, know. Yeah. Oh. That's why I picked it. Arr. Uh, one money, give me the worm bottle. Um, so I'm going to take water, and when I take water, I'm going to look at the top card of this deck, oh, and yeah. I might buy it. You have a little money. I have the money. Mm. It's just... It's not really something that I wanted to buy. <laughs> You don't have to buy it. I don't have to buy it. <laughs> but I want it. But I want it. <laughs> um, it. It would mean completely changing my plans for this turn. Hmm. So I've got this. I can discount an ingredient by one, and I can discount an ingredient by two during the market phase. So I think I can buy it. I, I think I can use my discount. It's just whether I want to or not. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't bought that now. Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to the bottom. Right, done. Tricky, tricky. I have a plant-based sugar. There you go. Thank you. Hmm. 
did you say in the recipe you can put you can put as many sugars, can you? As can many you put sugar. extra water or yeah. yeast? Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. And you would do that to increase the chance There's, of the sugar yeah. staying in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to spend full mm. money. I think. What do you buy in? A. Uh, mm, mm. Difficult. I'll do three money and buy the biochemist. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use my discounts. Um, I would have two on that, one on that. Oh no, that's two as well. Um, that's a full, full discount. Okay, I'm just going to use that to buy that for one. Yeah, can you use both? I can use both, yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah. A water, please. You can take a water for nothing. You can look at the top card of one of the decks. Uh, yes, you can stack it, gaming rules. What have I missed? Yes, you can stack it. Oh, the, these two abilities. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, instead, I'll take a yeast. Mm -hmm. You get, get a, a coin, don't you? You get a coin. Yeah. yeah. Chance isn't great, but that's been used. That hasn't <laughs> been used yet. I've got the yeast. I've got the water. That's not too mm. expensive. Hmm. I am. Oh, plants. I don't want any plants. I'll get a grains. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm <coughs> also going to take a grain. So that's my two things from the basic market bought. Passing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get another grain. Okay. I am going to learn how to make Oh, this hasn't mm. worked at all. No. <laughs> no I was one we money short for making my plan, so I couldn't do it, so I just did okay. something else instead. I am going to learn how to make whiskey. <laughs> Okay, Emily's already passed. Back to you, Rick. Mm -hmm. Pass. Taking the two things. Well, I can't make whiskey unless I have a wooden barrel. Actually, sorry. Yeah. I'll spend three money and get the water. Yeah. That works for me because hopefully a better card will come out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy that for two. Typical. Typical. <laughs> Back to you. Oh, it's another call. Pass. Um, I've got four minutes left, which is just enough to buy a wooden barrel. Mm -hmm. It's a basic wooden barrel. I'd like to buy this one, but that's a bit too expensive. That's really good. So these improved go. metal battle barrels, but no, I'm just going to buy this wooden barrel. Okay, and then I'm done. So stuff that you buy goes in there. And now, end of the market phase. I'm now going to remember to do it. Oh, hmm. yes. There you go. So, we have some new stuff. Okay, right. So, start of the distill phase. Does anybody want to trade a card? For something else? No. I do not. Right, I'm adding five alcohol because of my turbo yeast. Wow. Two alcohol for me, please. Two for you. Five for me. How many? Do I make my... 
I've got the barrel. You got the wooden barrel. I've got the barrel. You I've got two some plants. extra. I've got two plants. I've got the sugar. Yeah. So the, and I've got they some would extras. all three need to come out. Yep. And it would be three alcohol extra. Yeah. It would be awesome. The danger is you fail and you lose your own sugar cane. Yeah. Now, one of the sugar cane that's in the deck is gone, so there is one more sugar cane in there, but it might not come out. Mm. This ability. Mr. Trade Digby's in the chat. Good evening, David. Thanks very much. Card from the truck. Yeah, that's good. I'd like you to get it back. Yeah, that is good. You the sugar cane, for example. Mm. You wouldn't get that back. You wouldn't get your signature no. one because that goes, but you'd be able to get that. So. Yeah. There's the backup plan. Yeah, because push comes to shove, I could still make the cat shasa. <laughs> still shuffling, still shuffling. Still shuffling. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. All right, there you go. So how many sugars you put in? Three then. Three sugars. Oh. So what, I made what are you trying to make? More soju. More soju. Okay. Because it's the best thing I can make. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I did not make soju. Oh, yes. I right, made some again. Bye, Joe. Okay. You done it? Yeah. You got it. You've done your signature. Right. So I've got. Uh, yeah, water, and you put it in yeast, the barrel. alcohol, grains, grains, oh, no, you gotta put grains, it in a, grains. Four grains. Put it in that barrel. In a clay barrel is by Joe. Can I have eight money? Hang on, we're just distilling at the moment. Oh, okay, yeah. So because that. I'm eight, Good I'm shout. keeping it in the... <laughs> Yeah. I'm not selling it. You put the barrel I get on top. rid of you the do. alcohol. No, no, no. You keep it, it all no, in you there. You keep everything keep in there. Keep it all in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exactly the same. Put it there. Put the barrel on top. Okay. Uh, and this, this is where your signature marker I... comes in. Oh, okay. So that goes on there. Yeah. It's your signature marker. Okay. So now we do the sell phase. <laughs> Only Rick is selling. Yeah. Oh, that problem that I got no money. earlier on. I've got no money going into the next round. Oh. Oh, indeed. It's all right. You can get the free I, I, yeah, stuff. I can get the free stuff and I can make some. Six, six, yeah. six, seven, eight. Yeah, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money. Uh, plus one for vodka, nine money. So nine money. Nice. Uh, that goes back there. That goes, that goes water. That goes there. Save that one. Okay. You get your bonus okay. for placing your tokens, whereas we age. So what happens is the cards go all face down, the barrel goes on top, and we take a flavour card and put it underneath. Now, because I've got a posh barrel, uh -huh. I put two flavour cards in underneath. That's what it says, yep. Yeah. It had an additional one, so... Place the stack, not including the barrel, face down. Draw the top card of the flavour deck, put it at the bottom, and then put the barrel on top. Yeah. Okay. Basically, that's it. Um, Aging. We can sell that next turn if we want to. Free recipe. Mm hmm And I'm going to go with brandy. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm not going to be able to buy any recipe next time. End of the round. Anybody um, done any of these? No, nope. not done anything. No. Right, off we go. Round four. Yeah. Start of round effects. Right, at the start of each round, add a basic use to your pantry. Done. Does that mean I get money as well? No. Nope. Because I haven't purchased it. That's only when you purchase it, yeah. Right. Alrighty. I'm going to buy... I'm to get some of these fancy people. I can buy stuff. I'm all, I'm all upgraded up now. My upgrades are full. All those yeah. barrels. It's all the wrong ingredients. Yeah. Lean. Um, I'm going to buy some mixed fruits. For two? Two monies. Okay. 
I'm going to take some mixed grains for free. Free, free, <laughs> mixed grains. You've got no money. At least I can now make something. Um, oh, I also get a discount. I can buy fancy stuff here. Mm. I had forgotten about that. Yeah, for yeah, I can I can buy that stuff. I'll have a. You can round mark. The... Yeah, what round? Oh yeah, round. Uh, sorry, yeah, it should be round four. <laughs> Plant-based sugars, please. There you go. I knew it was round four. Mm. I just forgot to move the round. <laughs> yeah, someone mentioned on yeah. the thing. This game's going to last forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get them some more mixed fruits for two. I'm going to use both of my abilities to buy this for free. Mm. Get something good out for me. Juniper berries. Yummy. Good. <laughs> fruit. Fruit is what I wanted. The pie. I'll have a grain. Free grain. Uh, I'm going to buy juniper berries for five. Mm-hmm. Five whole monies. Uh, I'm going to take mixed grains. And I'm going to pass. I have no money. I've bought two things from the market already. Mm. Uh, You've got one money. I have, and everything's bottles and barrels are too expensive. Mm -hmm. And I can't be buying upgrades either, so I also go to pass. And I pass. So end of the market phase. Let's load the truck. And does anybody want to switch a card at the start of the distill phase? Uh, yeah, let's swap a grain uh -huh. for a water. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm going to put alcohol there, three of those there, and alcohol there. <laughs> Three alcohols. And get three more alcohol. Yeah. So there's already there's already five alcohol. I'm using alcohol instead of yeast and alcohol instead of water. <laughs> so this is gonna be wow. gonna be very potent. Right, let's see what happens. Andrew's gonna disappear. Thank you for watching. Oops. That was lucky. <laughs> were you doing your signature one? You were, weren't you? That is your signature yeah, one. That's yeah, that's my yeah, signature. Yeah. So I take the top. Take the top. Yeah. Take the bottom. Oh, oh the, the yes. juniper berries. Oh, oh, so I've, I've still got them though, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, made, I've made whiskey. I've made brandy. Oh. I think. Whiskey. I need two or more grains and I need to put it in a wooden barrel. Mm -hmm. Done. Another kacha. Kacha. Some whiskey. Brandy. Only one money. <laughs> so you're not selling? No, brandy. Right, okay. So you get a. Well, we, we do the sell phase first, technically. Yeah. So you're not selling. I am selling, I'm selling this. Because then I get you. that. So, an aged one, yeah. Uh, let's work out how much it would be normally. So, it tastes like melon. Nice. Oh. So, I get two, money, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine money. Yeah, nine money. Nice. Points, I get 12. Uh, there's one flavour card on it, so that's one, so 13, 14, I shouldn't do this really, should I? Uh, 15, 16, 17, yeah, so it was, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it was 17 points. So 17 onto 5 is 22. So you get both of these. I'm going to get both of those. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean that was... That was a big purchase. Plus the bottle. Did you put it in a bottle? I didn't put it in a bottle. Thank you. Yes, I put it in a bottle for an extra one money. Oh. Yeah. 
So there's the bottle. Uh, right, let's put all of this back. So premium, premium, premium. Gosh, basic, ingredients basic. lately. Yeah, but that's, and that's the barrel gone. <coughs> so yeah, so I've done those two this round and I get to put this somewhere. And I can't sell that. That's fine. Do I want an item? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to take a free item. I'm going to take another wooden barrel. Okay, done. Are you selling? I'm going to sell two things. Yeah, so you're selling the stuff that you made this round. Oh, gosh. Stuff I made this round. Yeah. So that is two coins. What was it? It was the cachaça. Have you got Kachata. a thing you need to label? Oh, for yes, it. I do. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Thank Are they you. One label? So, just two coins? Um, two coins, yep, and the four points. No points for mini cards? No. So, four points for yellow? It's more basic cards. Yep. Okay. And then those go back there, and those go. Yep, so plants away. over here, and over there. And then I'm going to get rid of this. You're selling one. that? Okay. I'm oh, putting it in the bowl. Right. Right. Pirate ball. So, so that is... it's going to be a big one. Oh, I've got to turn it up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. Eight coins. No bonuses. What does your what does it what does it taste like? Oh, um, dried fruits and musty. Ooh, musty, musty dried fruits. Mm. Musty dried okay. fruits. Okay, how much was it? Eight? Yes. You said? Eight money. Eight money. And points. And it points. You've got two flavour cards, so that's three points. Yeah. The stuff itself is worth four, so that's seven. Is it that? No, tw 16. Oh, so it's this. It's your special one. Yeah. Right. So there's an extra three money. Oh, an extra three yeah, money. Yeah, an extra three money for that. A million, million points. One, two, three. So it's... 16 plus 3, so it's 19. And then 4 there. 23. Um, another one there, 24. 24. And then an extra 3. 27, 27. points. What? So I'm going to knock. Here's your specialist one, I guess. <laughs> I've got six points. There you go. Yeah, coins on the special recipe. Got it. Spotted. Well done. And so I keep all of this? No. So the bottle Endgame. goes in your end game scoring pile. Bottle. The metal barrel, if you used a metal barrel. No, it was a posh barrel. Yeah, that's gone. Unless it says on it um, that you keep it. I think so. I don't think it no, is. No, no, no. Okay. Get rid. So that goes. The flavours. Flavours go. Go. Alcohol. Yep. Yeah. More alcohol. Good it. Plants. Grains. And then the sugar cane. So that's gone out of the game because that's your signature yeah. one. And then this, you can <laughs> probably just remove it or flip it over, whatever. Yeah. And then I've got two. So can you I use two. them both? Yeah, use yeah. them both. Yeah. Gosh. I get a free recipe. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Oh, and a free upgrade. I think it was this one that looked quite good. A farm. Yeah. Man. Okay. So free free upgrade. mixed rain, greens. And a recipe. So I'll have a, a silver recipe, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, the tabletop simulator mod for this, if you're like interested in playing on tabletop simulator, run. is fantastic because there's a bottle on the board and you take your entire stack, yeah. drop it on the bottle, and it Sorts it all out. It puts all of the cards nice. in all very of the right good. positions. Yeah, it's really good. Whoever did the scripting for it, very, very good job. Right, we've done our selling. Now you do the aging. Okay, I'll get a flavour. Yeah. Unless there's anything on the barrel, does it say you get more? During or? age phase, you may spend one money to gain one point. You want to do that? Well, it's my only money. <laughs> it's my only money I've got. Well, I, I'm going to age this in the aging phase. So that goes in there. Literally the only money I've got. But I can get yeast, which gets me another money. Mm. 
No, I'll keep my money. I'm going to I'll do it. well until you did your signature recipe, and then boom. Do we do? We got to do these. We got to do these. Okay. So at the end of the round, yeah, we've both done these. Right. So we both get three points for that, three and we both get three points for that. So they're gone. Six points each. So six points for me. Six points for Emma. There you go. Right. Don't forget the bonus coasters. Yes, we did them. Yeah. Round round five. No, you didn't sell, did you? Nope. Okay. So you could trade point points for money if you really wanted to. <laughs> for no points. Start the round, I'll get a basic yeast. Okay. Me too. No, it's a green. Yeah, the green. Add a basic green to your pantry. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use starting the, the market phase, both of my abilities to buy this for free. I'm going with a very one direction thing here. How many money you got though? Um, yeah, I got nine. That's all right. I mean, getting a discount of four ten. on an ingredient. Oh, yeah, ten. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's better than one upgrade on a distillery, mm. which is now full. I don't really want to replace them. You can them, replace them, but yeah. It's just a waste of money. Yeah. There's no barrel. There's. Oh, yes, there's a base. There's always a base barrel, barrel there. Okay. Uh, how did the signature oh, room get the second flavour? Was it started in round oh. two? Uh, the signature the rum room would get it, two because of the barrel. It was in a special barrel. Yeah, Emily bought a very, very expensive barrel. Posh barrel. Um, so I need four for the barrel, and then I would need um, one for the ledge, another one for the ledge. I feel so poor. So I felt at the start of like I could do it. Why are fruit so expensive? I, don't I know. know. I can't Inflation. do it. <laughs> yeah. Don't have enough. Can you take a yeast? Gets you money. To get the money? No, I've got no. enough money. Oh, I'm right, not okay. going to be able to get the right ingredients because I would need three items from right. that, which doesn't work because I need the barrel as well. Mm -hmm. In that case, I will instead, I could do another recipe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a recipe. Something. I've got two green already. Why is okay. there a one that doesn't grapes? I it's will get green. one, two, three, four. I will buy the silver, uh, silver one for the four, four money because I'm going to do the <clears throat> whiskey one. You're going to learn how to make whiskey? Yeah. There are two whiskey labels left. Oh, I'll be all right. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take a. I need the barrel. A yeast to get money. Okay. So what we got here? And yeah, this might not work. I'm going to take some mixed grains for free. I'm buying the barrel for four money. A wooden barrel. There you go. So that's one of your two basic market purchases. Yeah. Going well. Uh. Oh no, it's three. <laughs> uh, not going mm. well. Uh, all too expensive. Oh, it's late with no money. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, no, I can't You're going to end it. up making moonshine or vodka. Well, yes, yeah, basically. It's the only choice I've got. Or if you're really lucky, you're... No. No. I haven't got enough you... grain no. for oh. the soju. Because I can only buy two things from there. They're too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> grain. Uh, I'm also going to take a mix right. So I'll put them there. Um, I wanted to see what was so fancy about this green. Nothing. Point. It's worth a point. Oh, it's worth point and money. And money mm -hmm. Yeah. 
you got to pay three mm-hmm. to get one coin. One and one point. And a point. I feel like. I don't feel like that's worthwhile right now. You can get them for free. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Should have got that modern mill. That's good. That. So I might get. So for my next one, I will get a free grain. Mm-hmm. Thank you. There you go. Can't buy there. I'm just going to pass, I think. Okay. Do I want to buy anything over there? I'm going to spend two money to learn how to make soju. Here's my stuff. Got the barrel to put the whiskey in. It's going to read what that one does. Four points you shoot if you sell an Asian or Oceanic. Oh, no, no good. Two points otherwise. In that case, you've got whiskey on there as well. I have. Nice. I'm planning on keeping it there till the end of the game. That's my plan, because then it gets the flavour cards, and it'll and be worth, worth a bunch of points. Worth a whole bunch oh, of points. Nice. That's the plan. I mean, I could keep my brandy there longer, but pff, no money. Okay, pass. Sorry, I've passed already. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to pass as well. So, end of the market phase. Just load the truck. Does anybody want to swap a card? At the oh. start of the distill phase. Yeah. <laughs> this is twice you've done it. I get a yeast for a grain. I don't think you can do a yeast. Can't, can't do a yeast. Can't do a yeast, in which case, I'm not doing it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it either, but I'm using alcohol instead of yeast and alcohol no instead yeast. of water again. Because it worked last time. Yes. One, two, three. There you go in. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Two. Uh, one. Three. Monica's in the chat. Hi, Monica. Terrible. <laughs> Can't stop this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mm-hmm. spotted it. Right. Put the top and the bottom. Boo! Need a bit more mixing. <laughs> Boo! Oh, Moonshine is for me. <laughs> it's vodka for me. Oh, it's oh. one grain, so it's very, oh. very strong vodka. Oh no, I did Yeast that too. Yeast and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that is so frustrating. Yeah. So, I've made vodka. Me too. You've made vodka. I've made moonshine. And you've made moonshine. So don't forget to take your labels. I have the vodka. Is there a vodka label there left? Is. Okay. Thank you. And now we're going to the selling phase. I have to sell the vodka, so I yeah. will. I'll put it in a glass bottle. And I get so vodka is base one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money, and one, two, two points. Four, five, six. Eight really money. Eight money. Yeah. Oh, all the alcohol's a lot and of money. And three isn't points. It? Yep. That's good. Three points for red. Okay. There you go. Seven okay. money, please. Seven money. And made vodka, so it. Oh, eight money. Eight so money. There's one money there. And two points. Two points for yellow. There you go. Okay, so labels. Lost all my alcohol though. That goes back with the barrel. And we get rid of the grapes. Thank you. Um. Yeah, no, I'm am I actually going to be able to do my signature thing by the end of the game? I think I am. Yeah, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to 
move my signature ingredient to my pantry. Because you don't have to do it for two rounds. No, no, no. It's, a, it's not worth that many points. Because mine has to be two. Yeah. yeah. It's an easy one to do. Uh, so, yeah, that's me done. Are you done your label? Um, or are you just doing your label? Trade one card from the pantry for one card from the truck. Yes, yeah, so literally take any, any one card from here. Oh. Look through the stack, take anything you want. The rice with it might work. And no water or yeast. Last game I played, I had loads of yeast and kept putting it in, and it kept coming out. Whereas yeah. in this game, I've been using I haven't had any yeast or water for the last three turns, I've been no using alcohol, alcohol. Mm. instead. Okay, I'll put back one of the greens. Dave says, okay. Looks like someone should invest in the spirit safe. One. Where's the spirit safe? During the distill phase, you may choose to return one of the removed cards back. Oh, yes. Yes. That would be very good. That's why it costs seven money. Yeah, you can get it as a free upgrade. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go for a free ingredient. Okay. And get the grapes. Okay. If you like your fruit. Um, well, I'm choking to <laughs> for it to work. Um, so, we've done the selling phase. You've kept your one. Yep, I am, am, I, am, I am I not selling my, it. Am I going to keep my brandy? So I'm aging it. It's gained some more flavour. Mm -hmm. Who knows what it tastes like now. <laughs> more yeah. socks. More flavour. More flavour for you. I've kept it. Right, okay. End of the round. Anybody done any of these? Uh, no. No. I think so. You have. Oh no, it does not count. No. Right, okay. Brandy. Yeah. So nobody's done those. We go to round six. Start of round effects. <coughs> uh, uh, the signature okay. brandy can still be made in round seven and it'll still score the points. Yes, it doesn't have two for flavor. So the two flavor cards, that's only needed if you sell it. Yeah. Uh, oh, it will okay. still be still worth. Still get 17 points? You'll still get the points for it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, thank you for confirming that. Interesting. Okay. Because you could make it in round seven. You could make it in round seven. It would get one aging, one flavour card. And then not be able to. You would not be able to sell it, but it's still worth the points printed on it. Yeah. So it's potentially still worth making it. A barrel. I've got a rubbishy barrel. I could get a posh barrel. Okay. Okay. The fancy Fine. barrel. Fancy barrel. Fancy barrel. Placed by a stainless steel barrel. <laughs> Can I have for three money a normal barrel? Uh, a clay one? No, no, the wooden barrel. Oh, you get a discount, do you? I do. Okay. My large storage. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take a water. And because I'm taking a water, I'm going to look at the top card of this deck. And I am not going to buy that. That is going to the bottom. That barrel is considered a thing because it's one of the... Yeah. yeah. I've got to take a yeast. Do you get a money? And I've got to get a water. Yeah. Would you like to look at the card? Uh, yeah, go on then. Mm. No, but it goes back again. Mm. Uh, bottom of the deck. Bottom. Bottom of the deck. I'm going to use my modern mill. Spend one money to buy this premium wheat. Potatoes. Because of dollars. Mm hmm. Okay. 
three monies for the potatoes. Potatoes. Let's go with four money. I'm gonna get a recipe for gin. You can learn how to make gin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna use Jung Jina and spend the money to buy some rye. Lots and lots of wheaty stuff. I have lots of grains. One, two, three, four, five grains. Gosh. I'm gonna be trying to make my signature dish of Andong Soju. Strong soju. Okay. Yeah. In that case. Translates as burned liquor. Ooh. Spending uh, three. Yeah. I can change and I'll get more potatoes. More potatoes. Yeah, it's pronounced oh, that Sozu. Been better. No, Soju. <laughs> Sozu. Translates yeah. as burned liquor in Korean. Mm. There you go. Although it's palm. Palm's not very good, is it? Uh, pass. <laughs> um, well, I can't make anything without yeast, <laughs> so I'll take a yeast. I've got to take a water. Okay. Do you want to look at a card? I could do. Yeah. Ready. This is all oh, that's a lot. in the vat. Using all my money. Don't have to buy it if you don't want to. Gives me an additional alcohol though. Okay. That's quite good. Yeah. Okay, right. That's what I've got mixing up. Three alcohol. Hmm. So here goes nothing. Copper water yeast and those ones. Aiming for rum. Three. Should have maybe bought the metal barrel. I'm, sure I'm saving up for that. Four. Bottom, top, yeah, fine. I have made Andong Soju. So it's my signature recipe because it contains two grains and the rice. Yeah, there it is. And I'm gonna put it in a metal barrel. One. Because I have oh, to. Two. Boom. I've made gin. You've made gin, nice. You get a label. What have you made, Emily? I have made, I've made rum. Oh, two plants. Yeah, two no, plants. No others. Yeah, no others. And you've got to put it in a wooden barrel. And I've got to put it in a wooden barrel. Yeah, so you get a rum label. You are a pirate. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> you had the pirate bottle earlier, and they yeah. <laughs> made for the rum. It. Right, okay, end of the distill phase, sell phase. You selling anything? Um, you can't. I can't, I've got to age no. it, haven't I? So, yeah, you might as well do that now. goes there. One or two? Uh, More. One. Rick, are you selling? Yep, selling the gin. I'm selling mine as well. Uh, what have I made? This. So it's worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve money. And points, we get nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine. nine. 12, 13, 10, 11 money for me, please. 13, 17. I get 17 points. Hang on, I'll just do my points. Mm -hmm. uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 20. How many money? 11. Mm. 11 money. And 12 points. And 12 points. 1. Bit by fruity goodness. One, two. Yeah, metal barrel comes back. Oh, I didn't even include the bottle. Keep forgetting your bottle. I keep forgetting the bottle. I get an extra coin. I've still got a wooden barrel here. I forgot about that. 
What an idiot. Don't <laughs> so, my there's a wooden I barrel sat there. I took out the... Ah, oh, should have done that. The beast. Yeah, never mind. Done it now. Um, so, premium ingredients. Lots of them. Uh, that's my nice. signature one that goes. Yeah, that, that was a big one. But that, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have. I forgot I had this wooden barrel here. That should have been another bottle of whiskey. Mm. But never mind. My signature thing has been done. I get to place this. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? <coughs> um, <laughs> I've lost all of my ingredients doing that. I'm going to trade one card from the pantry. For one card from the truck. Oh, okay. And I'm going to take, I think, the barley. Done. It says and one plus grapes. So you need two, two fruits, fruits and, and the grapes. grapes. Gosh. Yeah. Chance of me getting all of that. That's quite slim, I would have thought. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, well, I'll go for it. Why not? You gonna take it? Yeah, you live once. Right. Okay. So we're all done. End of the round. Well, can I have a flavour? Oh yeah. You get one. I get one. End of the round. I got twenty-five money. Mm. Look at you getting all them. Seven points. It's gone in the lead. Yeah. Last round of the game. Start of round effects. Get a free. I get a free yeast. Market phase. Three flavour cards on it. That's all right. Yeah. So I know what I want to do this turn. I want to make some whiskey and use this wooden barrel. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be tricky. I don't even think I can. <laughs> no, because I can't get. No. Can't? No. <clears throat> <sighs> Alright. Is it me? It's you. Is it me? Um, I'm going to buy some figs. Okay. Number five. Slide them down. This might help. Come on, grains. That's not grains. Grapes. Mm. Oh, well, I could go for something completely different. <sighs> I could go for something completely different. I could now for something completely different. Which means this barley was a little bit of a waste. It just means this wooden barrel has been a waste. But that's... Yeah. <laughs> no one else has got much upgrades. <laughs> no, upgrades. I was going to go for it and then I changed my mind. And did something different instead. I tell you what, we could just make uh, crazy vodka with like really good, powerful <laughs> stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to use the modern mill and Jiang Jinya and spend two money to buy some of these grapes. Yeah, we're just going to throw everything in. We're going, to make, we're going to make vodka with fruit, Water. grains, and plants. <laughs> Figs. Off again with his figs. Um, it's da, 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 da. Is, is my plan going to work to make the vodka? Might do. Um, yeah, so I'll spend I'll spend four money to buy some sugar cane. Just buying all the super expensive mm. stuff. You're pretty much guaranteed to make vodka, aren't you? Yeah. So it's going to put loads of point generating stuff in. Yeah. That's the plan. Just make it mm. as valuable as I can. Mixed fruits. Mm. Um, I'll spend four money and buy some of that. Yes, yeah, spend all your money. Yeah, and just, just pile loads of stuff mm. into it. But I suppose ah. two money is worth one point. 
Five money is a point. Oh, is it five money? Yeah. Mm. So. Emily's passing. Pass. Uh, mixed fruits. <laughs> In terms of um, labels, you two have both taken your one that gave you a free recipe, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll spend the other four. <laughs> it's a bit late to be asked. Secret right? secrets. <laughs> You've already passed, haven't you? Uh, yeah. I uh, will also pass. Okay. No, good bow. Uh, which means... Well, I mean, I don't have... Yeah, so I'll take, I'll take water first and look at the top card of this deck. And... Yeah, whatever. Might as well buy it. I'll just, I'll just throw everything in. <laughs> I think this works. This might be a bit crazy. I think it's a good idea. To just spend all of my money and just buy yeah. loads of point, loads of ingredients. stuff. So I'll spend four money to buy. No, actually, that's not that valuable. Make it three money. And buy some of that. Mm -hmm. That goes in. I get something better then. Uh, spend yes, five money better. to buy some juniper berries. Spend. Oh, I've only got three left. Oh, shame. Oh, shame. You can still it. get the. I can, yeah. but I need. Oh, okay, you need it. Oh, no, yeah, I think that's it. So I spend those three to buy some. Uh, millet. God, that's crazy. Right, and then mm -hmm. I take some mixed grains. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the market phase, and I guess that's because that gold was 25 money, but then I decided to spend it all, it meant I was saving and yeah. I wasn't spending it. Yeah. As you were going, Fine. Yeah. like we were. Oh, how many alcohol are we going to have? Oh, this is just insane, right? Because this is one water. Have you ever seen anything like it? One water, one yeast, two, and then three. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's called a dirty pint. I think ten sugars. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is where somebody points out that there's a the there's max. a mistake in the rule book that Lupin. you can only do five that's at a time. Crazy. No one said anything. Nobody said just, anything. Everyone's gobsmacked. Nobody said anything. <laughs> So there you go. It's a big, big stack of cards. And I'm hoping the alcohol gets removed because I want all of the good stuff in. There is no max, says David. So there we go. What is the biggest amount of uh, sugars that anybody's seen in the game? Yeah, 200 proof alcohol. But yeah, let me know if you've played this game in the chat uh, or let me know if you're watching this back afterwards in the comments. What is the biggest amount of alcohol you've added? Oh, there should be an, an achievement in the back of the rule book for 10. <laughs> there definitely should be an what achievement. What you just did. Oh, okay, right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, I, I don't want my signature grapes to come out. Um, There's a lot of cards there. Yeah. Bottom? Nice. They did not. Top. Mixed fruit came out, but that's okay. all right. There you go. I've made some vodka. Uh, oh, are you making vodka? No. Right, so I do get the label. I'm making... Signature VS Con Cognac. I have made whiskey. Oh, there is a label for whiskey. There yep, there is a label for whiskey. Thank you. Okay, have we all <laughs> distilled? <laughs> yes. yes. Right, Rick, selling. I can sell my wood. Are you selling your one? Do I just keep it to the end? If you keep it to the end, you don't get the bonus for the flavour cards. So oh, you might as well sell it now. So you might as well sell it. Yeah. Brandy. Uh, yeah, game end. Any spirits left in your warehouse counting the SP on all cards in the spirits like barrel and recipe. Yeah, basically, you don't get the flavour bonus, and do, nor do you get any. Two, three, four. So yeah, I'm selling that, and I'm selling that. Exciting. Now I need to sell it first, and I put it in a, in a bottle. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So the bottle counts for both. If you're selling two things, it's one bottle. Because it's one bottle, then the bottle goes back. You actually do uh, two yeah. separate sales. Separate okay. transactions. So That's if the order matters for this, I don't know whether it does. It might matter for taking stuff, but at this point, I'm just going to take points. So yeah. five money. Let's do yours first. Yeah. So five money. All that stuff goes. Yeah. And how many points? Let's work out a sec. There's nothing on any of the ingredients. It's like lame ingredients. Uh, uh, so what did your... Oh, five, six, seven, eight. What did it smell like? What did it taste like? <laughs> Rubber tyres, antiseptic and malty. Nice. Uh, 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 brandy. <laughs> <laughs> brandy. Rubbish brandy. Another three money, please. So three money. But how many, how many points? And uh, Brandy, 13 points. With any bonuses? And in that barrel makes it 14 points. And three flavour cards is an extra six. Yes. So 20. Mm. Okay. That's all that done. So that's that sale done. Uh, those those tasting cards. Are you selling your other one? And the barrel goes. Yeah, yeah. money on the flavour cards too. Did you get the money on the flavour cards? Yes. Yeah. You did. That was the extra okay. three asked for. Well, I've just made this one, so I'm going to sell it as well. I just don't get the bonus of the flavour cards. Cause so if you've if you've just made it this turn, yes. you can't sell it. You don't sell it yet. Aging is phase four, so we're not there yet. Okay. Okay. I can't sell it yet anyway, can I say? So. No. That's it then. Oh, well, plus an extra two money, because I must put celebrity promoter. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to sell this vodka. Oh, and you place your label? Yeah, so I might as well get three money. Three points. Throw three points. This one is. Okay. So I've got glass bottles. So money. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-eight money. Nice. <laughs> It's just a bottle of vodka. All right. Oh, oh, and vodka is worth an extra one. A really posh one. Very, very. Grey goose or whatever. And now, points. Two, three, four, five, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Did I do the two? I don't think you did. I don't think so, no. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So nice. I will knock three off and add twenty. Right, I don't really need to bother putting them back. They're yeah, yeah done. they're they're done. done. And then I take the whiskey that was in the warehouse and I oh, I'm gonna put that on there and get a point. Then I take the whiskey, put it in a bottle, and get, so whiskey is no money, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine money. So my whiskey tasted like grass, coffee, sweaty. It tasted like uh, sweaty coffee covered in grass. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, points. Three flavour cards is six. Uh, whiskey is ten. So that's sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Ninety. Okay, and then the whiskey goes on there. Can I get a point? Ninety-one. Done. I'm selling my rum. Okay. Um. Away. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What does it taste like? Coriander. Coriander. Mm-hmm. Okay. So twelve, 12 money. money. And points. So rum is worth so it's eleven. Eleven. Uh, twelve. Twelve because there's one card on it. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. So That's not bad. Yeah. Not one off and add 20. And I will get a point. And another point for that. There you go. All sold. That's sold. That's the selling phase done. Then you age that. Mm. Right. I'm aging the whiskey. And you age your whiskey. So technically speaking, you both put a flavour on them. Okay. But 
You don't get the flavour bonus. You don't get the flavour bonus at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. Right, end of the round. Anybody done this? Uh, I think no. I've only got two. Three gins and or brandies. I've only got no, one. Okay, nobody, got, nobody got that. Uh, okay, so it doesn't matter, but technically you sell one spirit, yes. So what we should have done, and I, d- I don't think it mattered, is I would have sold one, you would have sold <laughs> one, you would have sold one, mm-hmm. sold one, sold one, sold one. Uh, I think it only matters if people are using these tokens to take things from here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because we were only doing our own thing, that's kind of why I yeah. mm-hmm. we just did our own mm-hmm. thing. Right, end of the game. So let's go through the end of game scoring. Spirits left in the warehouse will score for the points on the cards, the barrel and the recipe. Just not the favour cards. Mm-hmm. And you won't get any money for it. Right. So you both score for that. So points and you won't get any money. Yeah. Six. And is that your signature one? So that's 10, 17. Plus eight. Eight, so 25. One, two, boom. Okay. Emily, you're selling whiskey, which is 10. FYI, it's Woody. It's Woody. It's Woody. It's Woody vs. Cognac. Yeah, all right. Sounds I, nice. do, I do like the, the flavour of the flavour cards. That's what they're for. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's a nice touch. Mine's just the 10. Just the 10? Yeah. But you, get, you both get money leather. for it. Taste of leather. Taste of leather. Taste of leather. Taste of leather. Ugh. Don't get any money for it. You, um, sorry, no, you don't get any money for it. No. Yeah, okay. Bottle collection bonuses. Zero for me. So, Emily, what have you got? You've got one from the Americas. Yeah. You've got another one from the Americas. Yeah. Is that it? Is that another bottle? It, it, it is, it's but it doesn't have a thing on it. not part of the poshness. Okay. So you've got two from one region, which is two points. Uh, one, two. Rick? Just one of each. One from two regions. That's nothing. Yeah. Uh, that's nothing, I'm afraid. Right. Yeah. Distillery upgrades. I've got one point from mine. Now, if I used that bottle, it's not in my storeroom. You've got to have used it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I only used one and I didn't use the other one. Oh, I don't get any points for that. Okay. Points for your upgrades. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four. Four points. One, two, three, four. Okay. Distillery goals. So my score will be tied for the most SPs from specialists. Well, you've started buying loads of them early, so forget that. But <laughs> I would have liked that one. Have or be tied for the most recipes. That's why I wanted to know. Ah, I see. So ah. we all had three, so I get six points for that goal. Emily, your goals. How many do you have, Rick? One. Got one. I've got oh, three. That's annoying. Uh, how many do you oh how many ones do you have that aren't vodka? One, two, three, four, five. One, four. two, three, four. Okay. What is it? It's have the most or be tied with the most non-vodka label, the spirit labels. Okay. So I've got. So I don't have that one. I've got four. You've got four. Yeah. Did Rick get five? Yeah. One gin, one moonshine, one sage and That's only four different to vodka. Five yeah, it's five five. total. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. five total. So. The other one is, have or be tied for the most spirit labels from the same region? So, well, um, you've, you've got six from the same region. Yeah. So I think you've got that one. Yeah. <laughs> so five, five points. Five points. Rick, what about your goals? Have or be tied for the most aged spirit labels? You've got two, haven't you? I have it's so three. So you got three. No, 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 two. Whiskey and... Whiskey and the sage, the Bejo, whatever it is, Bejo. Yeah, because yeah, my signature one is not aged, so I've got two aged well, labels. I've only got one. Uh, have all be tied for the most variety in spirit labels, so, but signature labels count as their own unique label. I've got one, two. Where is your signature label? Oh, that so was, it doesn't right. count. That doesn't get allocated. So yeah. Last one. Brandy. I've got five Brandy. different. I've got vodka, signature, whiskey, moonshine. Four. I've got five. Four. So tied. Tied. So you get Seven. It. Seven points. Nice. There you go. I think. Oh, and money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a million. Oh, yeah. I've got a million. I got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another seven points. Eleven. So another two points. Two points. And two, two points for me as two well. Two points for you. And there you go. I wasn't as far back as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> 
I think we're all done. So the final scores are uh, me with 105, Emily with 88, and Rick caught up at the end with 82. Mm. Mm. I had the advantage of I've played it this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I think that I think that showed this was you two, your first game. Yeah. I had played it this afternoon. Buy ingredients are cheaper. It's good that. The yeah. Buying, yeah, that, but it That's was amazing. that it was that last round where I spent 25 money and yeah. just... And yeah, you got a bunch of And just there. bought... 10 ingredients, added 10 alcohol, and just sold this. Just think, if you hadn't have got three of those rewards first, that's what 17 Yeah, I was points. focusing on those. Yeah. I, yeah. I was focusing on the rewards. I wanted to get the aged one first. Uh -huh. Whereas in the game I played this afternoon, nobody got an aged spirit until, like, round five. Yeah. Oh, but wow. in this one, it was there. It was like, right, like, right quick, I'm it. There's, there's, there's a bonus there. There's a bonus there from it. Um... So, yeah, so for those people watching live, James is here, just missed the end. Yes, you missed the end. Um, yeah, thank you very much for everybody who's been watching live. If you are not watching this live, if you are watching this afterwards, thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comment, let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, this is a sponsored video. Uh, Dave approached me uh, and asked me to create this video to help the Kickstarter campaign. So thank you very much, uh, Dave, for doing that. But I hope it's been useful. If you, were, if, you, if you were watching videos of this game to work out whether it's the kind of game uh, that you'd like to play, then I, I hope that this video has given you that information. Um, we've, we've, well, I've, I've had a good time mm -hmm, playing yeah. it. Um, somebody said earlier on in the chat, it's a medium weight Euro, there's nothing else like it, but it's very thematic. Mm. They it's are the thematic, exact words yeah. that I said an hour before the stream. <laughs> um, what do you two think? Yeah, good, I want to play it again. Okay, so that's a good there. start. <laughs> what time is it? 10 o'clock. Okay. 10 o'clock. I think there's multiple different ways of winning as far as I can tell different things to focus on isn't it? Yeah. so what I can tell you having played this afternoon I played very differently now yeah did you because those four goals there mm -hmm. um, my particular mm. thing and my distillery goals as well yeah okay mm. so I think that's where the variability comes in you see those four um, spirit awards you see your own character you choose your goals that determines how you play mm -hmm. because there's no apart from the, the this here there is no variable setup it's always the same yeah things it's always time. the same of those it's always the same of those but the game will play the very goals. differently based on which awards come out here um as uh, i've only played it the twice but i've played both games very differently mm -hmm. so for some reason, reminds me a bit of Great Western Trail in, it? in some ways. Okay. Yeah. There's no cows. There's no cows <laughs> or trains. <laughs> or trains. I don't know, so there's money. There's money. Yeah. And things to buy and points and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but the, I, I, ju I just love the, because it, it's, it's, as somebody who likes dry, boring Euros with no theme whatsoever, it's nice to have a game where you actually feel like you're doing it. You know, you yes. put you put the cards in. You have to have the yeast. You have to have the water. You have to have this. You mix it all together. Yeah. You take the top off. You take the bottom off. That's thematic. It, it does feel thematic. It adds mm -hmm. an element of risk as well as to yeah, like, yeah. No, my stuff hasn't come out. Yeah. yeah, there was one time where I didn't get what I wanted. Yeah, me luck in a euro. But I had the I had the backup. Luck I, in I, a I, euro. Had, I had the backup. We need more cows in distilled. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you can still say moo. Yeah. Um, there you go. So, am I wanting it to still be recording? I'm not sure what you mean. It is still recording. I think it's. I think we're still live. I think we are still going out live. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're all done. We're going to wrap things up now. Uh, I will be back next week with a solo playthrough. I can't remember exactly which day I'm doing it. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, I think next Wednesday. So, if you're interested in watching me play the solo game, uh, designed by a good friend of mine, David Digby, um, I'll be doing that. So I will be practicing the solo game probably Wednesday afternoon, maybe Tuesday night, probably Wednesday afternoon. Uh, and then, yeah, Wednesday evening, 8 o'clock UK time next week, I'll be doing uh, the solo game of it, which I've heard is very good. We, we will find out. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to all of my patron supporters who helped fund the channel. If you like the content that I create, obviously give us a like on the video, leave me a comment uh, in, the, in, the, in the comments field. Um, but also consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the bottom right. 
patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, I produce lots of videos. Some of them are sponsored. A lot of them are not sponsored. And the Patreon campaign helps fund the channel for that. That's everything. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you all soon. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.